Right, should you be a gold miner or a gold buyer? Right, so these are the things we're going to be talking about. I'm going to be giving you some of my advice, what I think you should do. And uh, if you're interested in this, stay tuned. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tatin Dechwong and Ndenuya Rasimbot. Today we want to talk about gold buying, gold mining. But first, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been sending me emails and we're talking in the chat. You've been motivating me because at the end of the day, when you make such videos, you have no idea if people are saying, but anyway, thanks for the love. Well, I'm going to give you four reasons why I feel that every gold miner should start as a gold buyer. Reason number one, gold buying costs way less than gold mining. Because firstly, to be a gold buyer, you need a license. And this license costs you 2,500 bucks. Right, but here's the catch. You can put five names on that license. So if you've got your five friends, you can contribute 500 each and you have 2500 and at the end of the day you've got your gold buying license and all of these named people are able or are allowed to start trading within the gold market reason number two you get to understand gold as a chemical you get to understand its properties you get to understand what gold is and that is very very important if you're going to be considering to be a gold miner Reason number three, you need to understand the market. So when you're dealing with gold as a buyer, you get to understand how the market operates. So I started as a buyer in Zimbabwe and I realized that the world market and the market in Zimbabwe, they had a different price. So you get to understand all of that, weigh the difference. Would you like to start being a miner then exporting your gold so you get a, a bit of an understanding of how the whole gold market works so when you become a miner is it worth how you know that extra effort to get an export license for the gold or would you just like to sell locally these are things you will need to consider but you get this information when you start as a buyer it's easier that way i don't know my thoughts reason number four you network with other buyers, you network with other sellers, you network with other miners. Why this is important, if you're considering to be a miner yourself, is because gold, when you're selling your gold, it's got a percentage of purity, right? So when you're networking, you hear someone say, uh, I bought my gold or I mined my gold in Mutora Shanga or in Chegudu. All you need to do at that moment is gold ring uh chegutu okay chegutu percent 90 percent hey okay kwa mimi gold ring ndira kupi mimi ndira mtora shanga my percentage 93 ah 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 so next time what you do as a miner this is all important information because you want to start mining where the gold is most purest right you don't want to start mining in a place where your gold is going to be 50 percent pure no that's a no no because gold 70 percent going down all of that is rubbish it's not worth your time you need your gold to be 88 percent going up that's where the sweet spot is so all of this information will help you as a gold miner to decide where you would like to do your mining how you like to do it so you now have information about various places and various gold purities within different places in Zimbabwe or wherever you're trying to do your mining. All of this information is very, very vital and it will help you as a miner. So I don't know, those are my thoughts. What advice would you give someone who's asked you that question? Should I start with mining or should I start with buying? So please share your answers in the comment section below. And uh, if this is the first time you're seeing these kinds of videos that I've been posting, please consider clicking this link up here. It will take you to my other videos where I was talking about mining, the processes and uh, the equipment that you may need uh, to be a miner in Zimbabwe. And until next time, see you again.